Today I'm going to teach you how to delete a property from an object in JavaScript. There are three ways to do it. And also I'm going to teach you how to check if the property exists in the object. There are also three ways to do it. So let's get started. So here I got an object from my previous video. If you didn't see it, it's okay since the code is here, but I do recommend to go see the previous video. So basically what I'm going to do right now is print out this object, but actually we're just going to print out the name. So the first thing we're going to look at is how to remove a property from JavaScript. And I promised I was going to show you three ways. So here we go. Let's say, first of all, let's print out the whole object actually as well. Boom. All right. So the first way to delete it, let's say, what do you want to delete? I don't know what you want to delete. So I'm going to have to pick one. Let's say, let's, let's delete my name. The most important word in a person's life is their name, but let's delete it. Boom, person, object, name. And that's how you delete the property. So, let's print it out. Let's see what happens with the name, because right now, you see, name Alexander, right? Boom. We use delete to delete the property. Let's refresh. Notice the name is gone, but here's another thing that a lot of beginners might not notice is when we first printed out person's name, it used to appear here as Alexander, right? but for some reason not anymore, even though it appears right here, right? The reason is... So that's kind of like a tricky thing when you're debugging things. Just remember that when you're deleting things from objects, it will update and change it in the original console log as well. So that's the first way. Now, second way, let's delete now city. We can use brackets to access the object. and we'll delete zip code. Let's do that. So now we won't have name or the zip code. Let's refresh. What, as you see, name is missing. Location is still there, but the zip code is gone. All right, do you wanna see a third way? Okay, let's do it. Third way is we just assign a string to some variable. Let's say, you know, in React, they have props, but whatever, let's give it a random name, delete property, right? So we'll name that as, you, pa ba you basically pass the string, what do you want to delete? Let's say we want to delete state this time, right? Actually, no, since it's, nested let's uh let's do um what else do we have left city let's delete city so we're deleting city right so what we do is delete personal object person object and we just put in the name of our variable that also works let's refresh boom it's gone 
the only thing we have here now is male gender style savage i'm a savage location city state first question is answered right now third question i mean second question is How can you check? How do you check if a property is in a, an object? So the way you do that, there's also three ways to do it. They're also a little bit tricky, I believe. So the first one, you can just test if person object. What do, what do you have missing right now? Like let's say okay, let's say we have uh, gender, right? We have gender right now. Let's print it out. True. If it exists, it should be true. Boom. True. However, I don't think this method is great using if uh, because let's say we change gender to no. Boom then it doesn't print it out. So that's the issue with the using that. Because there is a property, gender, but it's null, so it's not deleted, you see? So I would not use this method. Okay, let's do second way to check if the property exists or not. So there is person, uh, every object has a method, it's called has own property and we'll check if property gender exists then we'll log true see it does exist so this works even though it's null this doesn't all right i'm going to show you third and final way this one is gonna be if gender in person object, then print out true. So we should have another true, boom. All right, so now you might be wondering, obviously we don't wanna use this. Should we use this or should we use has own property or should we use in? Well, that depends. Here's the thing. This will only work if the property actually exists in this object. This, on the other hand, will work if the property does exist in the object or it might not exist in the object, but it might exist in the prototype chain of the object. Meaning it might exist in some kind of parent object that our object inherits from that's concept of prototypes inheritance and prototype chain that i will discuss in a different video for now all you need to know is this is our the two legit methods i would use this one if you're checking for the property in your object all right i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did making it and hit the like button that will help me with the algorithm on the YouTube channel and subscribe and leave comments.